Honey. It's one of the greatest gifts to men. With millions of wildflowers in every bottle, the nourishing power of honey is still yet to be fully discovered. Be Nourished Healing Products combines healing ingredients from around the planet to the purest honey from the island of Maui to bring magic to your taste buds. The best honey from the most beautiful place to nourish your body, mind, and soul. From our hearts to yours, be nourished. Welcome to the Loyal Opposition Podcast. I'm Bernie Flowers, one of Uncle Sam's wayward children. I believe that our country's best days are still in front of us, but if those best days are to come, we need to change the direction of the country right now before it's too late. I intend to talk about important topics every week in hopes of helping to improve our country and our way of life. Please like, share, and subscribe. Let's get started. Our guest for episode 28 is Dr. Harry Jackson. Harry Jackson holds a doctorate in strategic security from Henley Putnam University, a master's of science in government and information systems, chief information officer and chief information security officer graduate certificates from National Defense University, a master's of arts in national security and strategic studies from the Naval War College, a master's of arts in strategic intelligence studies from American Military University, and a bachelor's of science in engineering from the United States Naval Academy. Dr. Jackson is the first black American to be named president of the Thomas Jefferson High School Parent Teacher Association. He has extensive experience in education, program management, acquisition, and cybersecurity. Dr. Jackson has held leadership positions in several other educational advocacy organizations to include Parents Defending Education, the Coalition for Thomas Jefferson High School for Science and Technology, and the Black Student Fund. Dr. Jackson is uniquely qualified to address racial achievement gaps with solutions that do not require additional income taxes, promote educational access opportunities, and leverage public-private partnerships. He has published columns in the Wall Street Journal, the Washington Post, and the Fairfax Times. He has appeared on CNN, Fox News, and numerous media outlets. And he hosts a regular online TV show Education Matters on the new USA Now TV web program. He lives in Fairfax County, Virginia with his family. Dr. Jackson is also a good friend of mine. We met as civil servants together about 15 years ago. We have been friends ever since. So, Harry, how have you been, brother? I've been great. Thank you, Bernie. Thank you very much. Outstanding. Man, you got a lot going on, and I want the audience to hear about all of it. So without any further ado, tell me what's going on with the Fairfax County, Virginia School Board. Well, it's a great question. Thank you for asking. For some of you that might be familiar, Fairfax County School Board, it's been scandal prone, as well as our neighboring school board uh, in Loudoun County that tried to hide a uh, a rape of a student by a transgender student due to the re revised policies. Um, and Fairfax County, our school board has been scandal prone. 
Um, they want to move away from uh, Governor Glenn Youngkin's model of uh, Virginia model policy that would protect girls in their sports, as well as in the locker rooms and bathrooms and intimate spaces. We've had a school board that uh, doubled down and allows and, and facilitates the proliferation of child pornography and pedophilia within our school board. We've had uh, our current school board uh, also discriminates actively against Asian American students. We had a scandal, national merit scholar scandal. For those of you that may be familiar with that, that made national news, where three, four, three out of three out of four children were of Asian descent that were denied notification of being a national merit scholar and denied scholarship opportunities, and that's currently in, in the court. Um, they've also tried to implement changes to the missions to Thomas Jefferson High School for Science and Technology, the nation's number one high school. Uh, and, and move from merit-based admissions to race-based admissions. And now that is also being challenged before the Supreme Court. And it's just one scandal after another, and they're in court every week. And even they've even tried to ch ch uh, to uh, cover up child rape cases, which was in the case in my area, my district in uh, Hunter Mill area, where a student was raped uh, back in 2013. She's now in her, her 20s. She's now coming forward as a witness, and they're trying to uh, get her to stand down. Uh, by requesting that she submit herself to another invasive exam a decade after her assault to relive that experience. And that was described as cruel, humane, and unnecessary by a lot of women's groups. So we've had a lot of scandal after scandal after scandal within our school board. And, uh, we're, and parents are tired of it. They're fed up and uh, they're looking for new leadership. You've you know, been that was a busy. Lot. Very busy. Wow. Well, with that said, what is your vision? Or the Fairfax County School Board? What is my vision? I think a school board should actually be focusing on providing supervision over the school board, over the school, which sounds very simple, but our school, our current school board members, 12, all 12 Democrats have been doing anything but that. They've been using it as a vehicle to enact social change, uh, social justice and social change. Um, you know, most social programs fail. Uh, the ones that do succeed, I mean, we're very familiar with it, like the Civil Rights Act, but in our case, um, that we've had one again, one scandal after another. Uh, for those uh, I stand with Israel as well as the victims uh, that were uh, that were attacked by Hamas over the past weekend, we've had school members school members that refused to for, to acknowledge a moment of silence for the victims. Not only that, but they also refused to acknowledge a moment of silence for victims of 9 11, uh, citing no justice, no peace. Uh, and trying to equivalent moral equivalency for those that have a right to defend themselves uh, versus other versus other issues. Um, my vision for the school board is to return to academic excellence uh, and, and no longer these pet projects uh, that detract from from the core academic from the core academic mission of a school board. It has the school board has no place to be to try to politically indoctrinate children, nor um, and also we need to have a focus on uh, not only back to education, but excellence in education and to expand opportunities to students to remove barriers that prevent their participation in several programs like after school programs, after school sports, after school activities. We should be providing after school transportation to these children uh, that is serves as a barrier, but our school board has had that enacted for some time, as well as other educational redlining programs, such as not offering all the same programs available at each school. And certainly if the school has a program that's not available elsewhere, they don't provide transportation to the students who participate in that area. So those are things I'm looking at doing as well as to address the human trafficking problem, which is ballooned within, every, which is, is also present in every high school in Fairfax County schools, as well as to address the, uh, uh, the fentanyl and the drug trafficking issues, which kills over a hundred students in our county each year. Yeah. Wow. wow. Well, tell us about your political race. So, so in my political race, I am running as an independent. It's a nonpartisan race as a school board, uh, as most school board races are. But however, it is the most impactful because it has a direct impact uh, to our to the local to our local populace. Uh, over half of our real estate taxes are used to pay for our schools and our school system. Uh, within my school board race, I am running against Melanie Marin, who while as the incumbent did promote and approved a lot of those horrific things, like she, hor horrific and heinous things, such as trying to cover up a child rape, the racial uh, discrimination against Asians, not only in high school, but also in the advanced economic programs uh, for children starting as, as early as third grade. Um, right now, I've been sending out, I've been putting out word, I've been sending out mailers. T today, I participated in the Herndon Homecoming Parade, where I was uh, had a billboard truck and I was uh, 
promoting my material. I had four commercials displaying and articulating what the issues were to most people. Most individuals, the biggest challenge is that they don't know who their school board members are. They don't know who's running and they don't know what positions that, they, that they're running for or what their platform is. Well, that's a lot, man. I don't know how you're keeping up with all this stuff, but I am glad that you're doing it. Oh, thank now, you. without any further ado, I'm going to step aside, talk to the people, floor is yours, whatever you want to talk about, that's what we're going to hear. Oh, wow. Well, thank you so much. Well, I, they, the floor is, is yours, so talk to the people. What I think, uh, speaking from the heart, uh, a school board race should be nonpartisan, and unfortunately, they're making it, it has been made a partisan issue, unfortunately, by the, our local Democratic Party, which most people have never encountered or, or dealt with or interacted with any these, these individuals. And unfortunately, when you're dealing with people on the political spectrum, you're dealing with people in the extremes on both parties. But in this case, we're dealing with the extreme on the left. Individuals that who I who have had arguments with me and have asked me seri with a serious look, and this was from a Demo Fairfax Democrat, had said, what harm comes to a child if they view pedophilia? And then the same individual asked me the question, why do I have a problem with a positive depiction of pedophilia? These are how extreme some of these individuals are, and this is why they, they must be stopped, because they should not be in charge of people. They come from a methodology and a, and a mode of thought that thinks that pedophilia is nothing more than a feeling. Now, that's just one mindset that they have. They also have the mindset that they should enact equal outcomes at all costs, and this is where this comes into impact on people, to end each individual's child. For example, I was at Oakton High School uh, on this past, thurs this past Thursday. They have equity grading and they allow students to take multiple multiple takes of an assignment nor, 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 and, unless they get 100% on that exam. Now, different policies are in place at other schools, and I'll go be specific at Madison and Marshall, where you can take, as well as South Lakes, where you can take retakes to an exam to get up to an 85. And at my high, my child's high school at Langley, it's at an 80. And what that ends up doing is it, it advantages students from one school to another where they're able to get an A in a particular subject where other students may not be eligible to do that. And then, and the difference that that has is particularly because we compete out of Fairfax County, there's only a certain number of students from each school that a college will take. So now a student might not be able to go to say JMU, they may have to go to VCU. And that's one thing that this equal outcomes that I disagree with, it's a Marxist ideology. Um, other issues that I see that is going on for this, for this ideology as uh, critical race theory and critical queer theory. This is where we see a lot of explicit books and material that go within our, within our school system. With the CRT, they're identifying people based on race, and they believe that they have positive discrimination of people based off of mutable characteristics. This is where we saw Asians, people of Asian descent, being denied notification of the National Merit Scholar Program. If you are a black, if you are of middle class and you are black or Hispanic, they will they will discriminate you against you about your notifications to being a national African American scholar, national Hispanic scholar, or a national Indigenous person scholar, because they want to they want to they want to level off the field across every across race, across races, and across individuals. And I think this must be stopped. That's a lot. I am glad that you're on the case, brother. <laughs> Thank you. Wow. Keep doing what you're doing. How about telling people how they can contact you if they need to? Oh, great. Thank you. And for those who'd like to follow me, um, my website is friendsofharryjackson.com. That's friendsofharryjackson.com. I also am active on X, formerly known as Twitter. And my handle is Harry J for Justice. That's at Harry J for Justice. Dr. Jackson, my dear friend. Thank you for coming on our program, and I look forward to having you on again very soon. Thank you very much. Take care, brother. Thank you. Thank you. Take care. All right. Well, that's about it for now. This has been the Loyal Opposition Podcast, produced in association with Liberty Arise Media, Fallback Productions, and other podcasters. I ask that you like, share, and subscribe to this podcast and to these channels. Be sure to get your copy of my book, Black Values Matter, available on Amazon or as an ebook on Audible and Apple Books. And remember, it's okay to disagree, but if we want our country to prosper, we must insist on unity, transparency, and civility from ourselves and our fellow citizens. Thanks for listening to the Loyal Opposition Podcast. See you next week.
Honey. It's one of the greatest gifts to man. With millions of wildflowers in every bottle, the nourishing power of honey is still yet to be fully discovered. Be Nourished Healing Products combines healing ingredients from around the planet to the purest honey from the island of Maui to bring magic to your taste buds. The best honey from the most beautiful place to nourish your body, mind, and soul. From our hearts to yours, be nourished.